This is my vlogging setup. This is my iPhone vlogging setup. That's quite a difference in size. Today, I wanna to talk about how to vlog with an iPhone. And the reason why I wanna talk about this is that I find so many YouTube content creators are limiting themselves because they don't have the classic 1DX to vlog with, and they just think that they can't vlog and get great content. But the truth is, a lot of times, a smaller setup will actually help you in the long run. You can tell the story a lot better. You can get into places that you just couldn't get with when it comes to a big setup like the 1DX. And all at the same time, you're gonna save your back and your bank. All right, so let's go over the iPhone vlogging setup that I'm using currently. For camera, I'm using the iPhone 11, not the iPhone 11 Pro. I didn't really feel the need to spend the extra money on getting the telephoto lens because I knew I wouldn't be using it. All I wanted to get was the ultra wide lens because I really love the look of the really wide feel on the iPhone. As well with the iPhone 11, you can film 4K at 60 frames per second, which is great. You get nice cinematic slow motion footage. So that's what I'm using for the camera. For stabilizer, I'm using the Manfrotto Pixie Mini Tripod, which is great. You can just hold it, it keeps it stable, it prevents the camera from shaking. And then if I wanna put the camera down on a table, for example, and just talk to the camera, it's really easy. I can just put the stand there. As well, I have the clip here, the Manfrotto clip, which allows me to put the microphone here in the hot shoe mount. And as well, you can just extend the size of the clip depending on what kind of iPhone or Android you're using, which is great. For sound, I'm using the Rode Video Micro with the Dead Cat. The reason why I'm using that is to stop the wind from affecting the sound. And as well, the reason why you want to use a microphone like the Rode Video Micro is, is that even though the iPhone 11 sound has gotten a lot better, it's not a directional mic on the iPhone 11 itself. So you're gonna get all the ambient noise and sometimes you just don't want all of that. Especially when you're vlogging, you want your own voice to be the main sound. So when you have the directional mic, you mostly get only your talking and a little bit of the ambient noise. Audio is super important. Often when people ask me what kind of gear should I get, I always suggest that they invest more into sound than into the video quality. Because even if you have great video but terrible sound, it's awful. But sometimes you can get away with having less quality video but with great sound. So definitely invest in getting a microphone for your vlogging setup when it comes to iPhone videography. When you're using the Rode Video Micro, make sure you get the SC7 uh, cord because if you don't have this cord, your iPhone's gonna think that you're putting in headphones, not a microphone, and you're not gonna get sound. So make sure you get this cord as well. Then you're gonna need the little dongle with iPhone to get it into your camera. But simple, really easy to use and cheap. And then for lenses, on top of using the ultra wide lens on the iPhone 11, I'm using the Moment anamorphic lens just to get those nice cinematic B-roll shots when I want. So having the ultra wide and then the anamorphic lens, I find that's a really great mixture of uh, vlogging shots and as well of getting some epic cinematic B-roll shots. If you wanna get yourself just the Manfred tripod and the Rode Video Micro, all that's gonna cost you is a total of $86, so it's not a huge investment. If you do want then to add the moment case and as well the anamorphic lens, all those accessories are gonna come to a total of $276. All that to make the iPhone 11 into the ultimate iPhone vlogging setup. Not a lot of money that you have to invest. All right, so since today is such a beautiful day out there, I decided that Akko and I are gonna go on a little hike in one of my favorite places here in my city and we're gonna do some vlogging with the iPhone vlogging setup. All right, let's head out. <music> made it to Paukeneva Pitkos Boot. A long word for really, all it just means is boardwalk, wooden boardwalk. The weather's definitely not as sunny as I thought. It was supposed to be a sunny day, but that's okay. We got some nice epic snowfall. So it's gonna be interesting doing some nice slow motion with the iPhone 11. Getting that cinematic B-roll of Akku. Let's check this out. <laughs> Tip number one, 
number one when vlogging with an iPhone, I know this is simple, but make sure you charge your batteries and make sure that you have space on your phone for all the footage. The 4K footage is gonna take up a lot of space, and as well, when you're filming outside, especially when it's winter, the battery will die quickly. It might not be a bad idea to sometimes have a battery pack with you just to do some extra charging when needed. But tip number one, make sure you got battery and space on your phone because that's gonna be your camera, that's gonna be the baby that you're gonna use to make your vlogs. Tip number two, when filming a vlog with an iPhone, make sure you don't film with just the native camera app. With the native camera app, the camera is just basically, the app is deciding all the different settings that you're gonna be using, and you can't film at 24 frames per second when you're using the native app. But using apps like the Moment Film app, you are able to choose all the settings you want when it comes to shutter speed, uh, what kind of ISO, white balance, uh, frame rates, all these different settings you can choose and they actually have some presets for cinematic video. So that has a flat profile, has the right shutter speed for the right frame rates you're doing. So thank you so much, Moment. Really great app when it comes to vlogging with an iPhone. Tip number three when filming a vlog with the iPhone, you wanna make sure that you're not just filming with the iPhone alone because you're gonna get shaky footage. You wanna use a stabilizer, for example, a gimbal, or I prefer this Manfrotto Pixie tripod. You can just put both hands onto it. The more contact points you have with the iPhone, the less shaky it's gonna be. Having nice, smooth footage, really important. Tip number four when filming a vlog with the iPhone, make sure you have great sound. Don't trust just the iPhone native stereo mic. Rather, instead use a shotgun mic like what I'm using right now. I'm using the Rode Video Micro. It's a great shotgun mic to put on iPhones and it's just gonna give you that nice sound. Having nice sound, nice audio is gonna make the video so much better because when you have poor sound, it's so distracting and people get so annoyed. So check this out. Right now I'm using the Rode Video Micro. It's a directional mic so it's directed at me and it's getting all the sound. This is how it's sounding and now this is without it. Now this is just with a stereo mic from the iPhone. I'm getting all the ambience, not just my talking only mostly. So it's definitely not as high quality and that's why it's really important that you use microphones. Tip number five when filming a vlog or content with an iPhone is think outside the box. You see, when you're using a DSLR, it's a big clunky setup. You just can't get into places. You can't film in really unique ways. But when you're filming with a mobile phone like iPhone, you can just get anywhere with it. Right now, I've just thrown this guy into a little forest and I have these little branches all around. But hey, it gives you a really unique perspective and it makes the content more enjoyable to watch. So think out to the box. You have the pleasure and the privilege when you're using an iPhone to think out to the box and film shots and angles that you just wouldn't have possibility to do with a DSLR. So tip number five, think outside the box guys, get creative and have some fun. So guys, how did you like the vlogged film with an iPhone 11 and all the cinematic B-roll footage? Were you impressed or not impressed? I would love for you to comment below and tell me what you guys thought about this setup. As well, it definitely wasn't as nice as I thought outside. It was freaking cold. So I hope you appreciate all the effort that we put into this week's vlog. Now it's time for this week's shout out. Don't you worry, I didn't forget. This week's shout out goes to Madison B. She has an amazing YouTube channel all about film photography, different film cameras, street photography. Really interesting, really enjoyable to watch. So make sure you go check out her channel, give her a like, give her a subscribe, support her channel. That's what we want this channel to be all about, supporting each other going forwards in the filmmaking journey. All right guys, hopefully you enjoyed this week's video. Make sure if you're new to the channel, you subscribe here. And if you wanna see last week's video, click here. In Finland, we like tree hugging. They're really friendly, these trees. Give us clean air here in Finland. I love it. <laughs> Almost slipped on the ice.